All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, no, one put more the second. can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Oh, you got it. Shoop doo wah, shoop doo wah. We're coming with the family, talking about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums, we might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me, you're my family. Any curve that life may throw, any where the wind may blow. Brother, ain't it good to know we're three? Life is full of stress and strife. You lose Brothers and brothers to you about men only if you're graphic <laughs> well I had another date with that lawyer again it's been six months of whining and dining and leaving issues of modern bride on his nightstand <laughs> and and last night after a long romantic walk we stopped by Jurgensen's jewelers Kelly when we got there he picked up a brooch for his mother <laughs> What a creep. Yeah. Gorgeous. But a creep. Well, you're not going to see any more of him, are you? Who knew? I don't go out with creeps. Even if they are great kissers. Great kisser, huh? Yeah. But still a creep. Got his phone number? Penny! My standards aren't as high as yours. I grade on a curve. <laughs> it's not his kiss. It's his buns. I beg your pardon? The Shoop Shoop song. It's all wrong. The Shoop Shoop song. Betty Everett, 1964. Is it in his eyes? Oh, no, you'll be deceived. Is it in his eyes? Oh, no, he'll make believe. If you want to know if he loves you so, it's in his kiss. That's where it is. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Annie Thompson, Kelly Hall. I'm telling you, the song is all wrong. I mean, come on. The first thing you look for in a guy is, does he leave a room well? Am I right? Absolutely. <laughs> when I look at a guy, I want to see his Sergio Valente standing up proud. Penny. The label on his jeans. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were talking some smut. No! We're talking about checking out guys' heinies. <laughs> well, don't talk that way. You've got a reputation. You really think so? Penny! Oh, gee, thanks for the tip, Dad. <laughs> we'll see you. Goodbye. See ya. Joe, what are you getting so excited about? It's just a little girl talk about men. Feel me in. <laughs> Hey, Annie, how are you? Mm. Oh, you two know each other? Oh, yes, Annie and I sometimes work together. I'm an editor. Oh. Listen, I've got something to Hi, uh, I'm Joe Waters, restaurateur, ex-football player, drive a late model car. <laughs> Annie Todson. You're uh, quite a guy, huh? I'd say so. Oh, yeah? Turn around. <laughs> I'm sorry, never mind. <laughs> uh, listen, listen, I'm sorry I'm late for lunch, but it's good news, bad news. See, I can't make the show tomorrow night oh. because I have to fly up to New York to meet with Norman Mailer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this oh, is great! <laughs> uh, well, since you won't be here tomorrow, I can take Annie to the show. <clears throat> listen, is 7.30 all right? I can get somebody to close... You see? That's how guys are. They see a pretty face. Thank you. You're welcome. And they can't think of anything else. That's why I don't care if I ever have another date with a guy in my life. 
excuse me. So, how's everything? Oh, great. The food is unexpectedly good. Well, what did you expect it to be? Rotten. <laughs> You're in a snit, you know that? I'm queer, I'm allowed. <laughs> Why, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? You are supposed to be my friend, and you don't even get excited when I tell you I'm going to be working with Norman Mailer, and I'm not even a convicted felon. <laughs> you are right, you're right. I shouldn't just walk over here and ignore you just because you're with a beautiful woman. Oh, it's all right. Okay, so how's about I make it up to you? How's about I buy you lunch? Thank you. And how's about I buy you dinner, a very late dinner? Joe! Sorry. Think about it. <laughs> Interesting fellow. I'm sorry, Annie. I didn't think you'd be swarmed upon by that, that sex thing. You called? <laughs> Lou Waters is the name. Love is the uh, thing I do. No, that ain't it. It's a saying. Annie Todson, this is the dreaded Lou Waters. Listen, uh, before you use up all your A material, I think I'd better tell you I'm a lesbian. <laughs> Well, I am a Catholic. <laughs> and I do not think that should get in our way. I don't think that sex and politics mix. Uh, I, I'm talking about my sexual persuasion. All right! <laughs> Lou, she's trying to tell you she's not interested. You crazy? She's already talking dirty to me. She said the word sexual and everything. She is a homosexual, you horse, you ox, you zebra, you less than senseless thing. You? Yes. Well, you win some, you lose some, and some is homos. <laughs> Charming man. Meeting the Waters family is sort of like being in a Spielberg film. Cliff is the normal one. He's the one who was going to be the boy bride. Well, they seem sweet at heart. Oh, they are. Look, excuse me for a minute. I have to go wash up. Lou always gets me flushed. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Okay. Uh, look. I'm uh, sorry about before. I hope you don't think I'm Lizzie Borden. No, we all have our moments. Yeah, I've just had a terrible streak of luck with men for a while. Yeah, how long? Since puberty. Mm. <laughs> you know, I think it just seems that way when you really want a relationship. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm just in a rut. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes you have to do something different. That's why Donald and I were going to test out this performance art piece. Oh, looks interesting. Yeah, it's too bad Donald can't go. Uh, I hate experimenting alone. It's nice when you're with someone. That way, if it stinks and you want to walk out, they can help you up the aisle like you're sick. <laughs> well, I'm available. Call me Nurse Kelly. Do you want to go? Oh, if you don't mind. Oh, it'd be great. Oh, terrific. We're on, then. Okay. Uh, listen, I'll get your number before you leave. Terrific. <laughs> Amazing. I didn't think we'd make it through. It seemed forever. I couldn't believe it. So, that's performance art. How long were we there? Twelve minutes. <laughs> For twelve minutes, we sat and watched two naked, gagged men peel an orange. <laughs> In slow motion. What's that thing called, anyway? 
Anita Bryant's Revenge. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. So, what do you want to do? Well, I'd like to go fishing. Well, we're dressed for it. Did you receive a recent blow to the skull? No. I was just thinking about how much fun you said you used to have going fishing with your husband before he passed away. Yeah, after he died, he was no fun at all. Annie! Hey, I look at life with a giggle. Doesn't mean I didn't love him, or I don't miss him. It's amazing how much two Irish girls have in common, huh? Family, Catholic school, missing a husband. I thought you said you were never married. You can't miss by more than that. <laughs> Kel, I know we haven't known each other very long, and I don't want to seem pushy, but uh, I think you are. What? Pushy. I mean, the guy at the theater asked your name, and you ran to the phone to tell your mother the good news. Well, I promised I was going to call her anyway. Kelly. <laughs> You can take a relationship for what it is and let it grow. I know. We are a lot alike. And I'll tell you, you'd be surprised. The right relationship can, can show up in the most unexpected places. <laughs> Let's do it. Do what? <laughs> Go fishing. <laughs> Have you been listening to anything that I've been saying? Yes. And you are absolutely right. And getting out and doing things with you, that's exactly the kind of escape I need. And I love to go fishing. We could camp out. My brother Michael used to take me all the time because he was afraid of worms. <laughs> Hold it. There's something that uh, I want you to know before we go out to play Marlon, Perkins, and Jim. <laughs> Are you afraid of worms? No, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, lesbians aren't afraid. <laughs> You're not kidding. I don't advertise the fact, but I don't hide it either. And since we were getting close, I thought I should tell you. You don't... I mean, with me, you, do you? No, I, I'm not attracted to you that way. Great! First men, now you. Nobody wants... <laughs> It's, it's just that I, I like more feminine type women. How'd you like a punch in the nose? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Annie. Hmm. Your being homosexual doesn't make any difference to me. And Kelly, you being heterosexual doesn't bother me either. Listen, you remember you said I was pushy? Yeah. Well, here's a push for you. Mm -hmm. Did you know you were a lesbian before you got married? Yeah. After a while, I realized that something was missing from my life. But uh, it wasn't because Bill and I didn't enjoy each other. I'll tell you, Kelly, you'd be a fool to cheat yourself out of a good marriage. Bill was a very lucky man. I was a lucky woman. Well, now that that's out of the way, what do you say we go kill fish together? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm okay. Sleep all night and I work all day. A 
chop down trees, I eat my lunch, I go to the lavatory. <laughs> oh, I dress in women's clothing, and that's all right with me. <laughs> Jack and I'm okay. I sleep all night. Well, the figures. She started it. <laughs> Kelly's been pretty happy lately, hasn't she, Daddy? I guess. Four guys walked in here about an hour ago. She only kicked three of them. <laughs> well, for someone who's down on men, she sure has a busy social life. I've worked late for her all week. She been going out a lot? Can't remember the last time I made it home in time for Nightline. <laughs> Nightline? Is that the guy who looks like Howdy Doody? <laughs> Who's she been dating? I don't know. She's been seeing a lot of Annie the last couple weeks. Dum da dum dum. <laughs> what? She is a lady fag. Lesbian? Uncle Lou, you are not suggesting that anything is going on. Yeah. And even if there was, it would be none of. Kelly and Annie? Guys, do you still think someone just decides to be gay? Oh, come on now. Kelly's put off with men here, and Annie takes her out, shows her that she can have a good time without them, and bang! Next thing you know, they're driving bulldozers. That's it! That's all I can stand! I can't stand no more! Popeye, 1939. <laughs> what is it with you guys? Talk about jumping to conclusions or minding somebody else's business. Look, I'm not saying she is or she isn't. I'm just saying that someone could go through a bad time and, and be confused. Oh, Cliff, can I ask you a favor? You want me to work your tables? Yeah, if it's okay with Joe. Got a date? You're kidding. <laughs> I have a friend coming over to spend the night. Annie? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to get much sleep as it is. We want to get an early start. We're talking diesel dames here. <laughs> no. Joe, either you're going to let her go or not. Oh, sure. Thanks. with this creel. By the time I get the trout in, it'll be fish jerky. <laughs> well, come in. Well, hi, Kel. Hi, Ben. You shouldn't leave your door open like that. Ma'am. On the other hand, it is a matter of personal choice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having a hell of a time with my creel. Have you tried eating lots of bran? <laughs> my creel. This basket for putting trout in. Oh. Well, where does the almond dean sauce go? Penny, I'm going fishing with Annie. Oh, Kelly Hall, the wilderness waitress. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were her. By the way, what are you doing here this hour of the night? Well, um, I was talking with Dad and Uncle Lou. And Uncle Lou said something kind of stupid, but it actually made sense. I'm sure it was pure luck. <laughs> Kelly. What? He said that maybe you've been so busy having fun with Annie that you might be forgetting how to have fun with men. I remember. I could do without that kind of fun for a while. Well, that's great. Give up. I'm not giving up. I'm enjoying myself. I have a lot of fun with Annie. You're making her this substitute, like NutraSweet. <laughs> I mean, I don't care if you want to hang out with her every day of your life, but don't make her a substitute for your life. You know who you sound like? Dr. Ruth. <laughs> also like Annie. And you know something else? You're both right. I think sometimes when you're hurt, you beat yourself up even more just to prove it can get worse. I think that that's why God made Hagen-Dazs. <laughs> I'll 
tell you, though, when you have friends like you and Annie, you can't sink too far. Well, you've got other good friends, too. And Dad and even an Uncle Lou. Although, <laughs> they did get some crazy ideas about you and Annie. What? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, well, with Annie being what she is, they oh, thought... Oh, why do they assume just because I'm friends with a woman who happens to be a lesbian that some... <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello, Joe. Uh, no, you can come over. Yeah, I'm still up. Okay. Bye. Penny. <laughs> would you mind running down to the corner and picking up a couple of cigars? Hi, Kel. Oh, my God. Hey, Joe. Can I come in? Sure, pal. Uh... Well, well, what were you doing? Watching wrestling from the Omni. You like wrestling? Really, but uh, Cindy Lauper's there. I love her legs. <laughs> Look, Kel, I know this may sound stupid. Let me in, it's me, Lou. You're right. Get the door, will you? <laughs> Lou! Uh, what are you doing here? I gotta talk to Kelly. Kelly, I gotta talk to you. I feel that I have played a part in your sexual ornamentation. Oh, dear. And if somehow my constant hitting on you has driven you to this, I hereby offer never to darken your ear step again. Why, Lou? On the other hand, I'd be perfectly happy to give you a pop if it would turn you around. Lou! Don't yell at me. It ain't all my fault, Romeo. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you slept with her. How good could that have been? Boys! Boys, boys. It's too late. I've made up my mind. From now on, all I want is the company of a good woman. I can sit around, smoke cigars, drink beer, and curse. <laughs> Kelly, are you trying to tell me that you've come out, you're a homosexual? One of the biggest. <laughs> I need a drink. The plane ran out of alcohol. Talk about the biggest, the mighty Joe Young of homos. <laughs> What's wrong? I met Norman Mailer, and he is the worst writer. Norman Mailer is a wonderful novelist. He's not a novelist. He's a haberdasher. <laughs> that is a cruel thing to say. No, it's not. The Norman Mailer I met is a haberdasher and a transsexual. <laughs> Wrote some dumb book called Reversible Vest. <laughs> Your publisher sent you to meet with a haberdasher? A transsexual haberdasher. Now, let me tell you, that man is the most boring woman I've ever met. Well, just forget about that. We got problems of our own here. Look, I would rather not get Donald involved. Maybe Donald could shed some light here. See, Kelly thinks she's a lesbian.
He said that. Why did you hit me? Entertainment. There was no movie on the flight. Oh. Wait a minute. I can't go through with this. Donald, when Joe called up and said he was coming over, I decided I would show the guys how stupid and stereotypical their reaction to my relationship with Annie is. You mean you haven't given up on men? Of course not. And Annie was the first one to encourage me not to. I just wanted to show you that two women can be really close and still be as feminine and genteel as anyone. Hey, toots! I rented a motorhome. We can drive all night, fish all morning, and sleep all day. What do you say? All right! Let's fucking... Yeah.